Hello and welcome to 99 Spirits. I will need to reset the recording, but before we do that, um, I just wanted to explain why I'm playing this game now. Well, I've had this game for a while, I've just never really gotten around to it, and it looked like a game that uh, you really wouldn't want to have spoiled for yourself. I don't know if that's true or not. It's really loud for me, so I might be speaking loudly. But, for the, nah, nah, for the next three days, 23 hours, 57 minutes, and 37 seconds, 36, 35, whatever, you'll have three days about, uh, I'll get this out today, I promise, um, you can buy 99 spirits with its art book and music collection for a dollar, essentially, in the Humble Weekly Bundle, so if you look up Humble Bundle, and you go to their weekly bundle, you can do this. You'll also get Vanguard Princess, the Hilda Rise, and Lilith DLC packs, which I didn't have, so I'm pretty happy about getting those. Supercharged Robot, Volk Kaiser. I've never heard of it, but I'm looking forward to playing it. And then I did already have 99 Spirits, but I, and then I, um, but that's okay. Well, I didn't have the art book and music collection, so that's cool. I did get those. Um, and then if you pay more than the average, which right now is $7.52, you get Gerdermin, A Monstrous Adventure, which is a game I wanted, so I'm pretty happy about that. Neo Aquarium, The King of Crustaceans, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is a game about fighting underwater as a crab, and I am so into that idea. I haven't checked, but I'm hoping that that's what that game is about. Because it says the king of crustaceans, and I want to be the king of the crustaceans. And you'll get the Sacred Tears True, which is a... Uh, w it looks like a weirdish RPG with some extra stuff thrown into it. Like uh, battle cards and things, and it's really weird. I haven't played it yet. I do own it though, and so that wasn't really something that I was going for. So now I have an extra key that I have to figure out what to do with. And then if you pay more than ten dollars, like I did, I paid eleven. You will get to, you also get an all of that plus Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth number one. And it's supporting the Charity Water, which is an awesome charity, and Direct Relief, which is an awesome charity. So, that's pretty grand. Um, so, I'm playing 99 Spirits to kind of give you guys a look at it. Maybe I'll go pick up this weekly bundle, even though, um, yeah, even though I could probably achieve, to, achieve this just by this video alone, like this portion of it alone. Because, I mean, I think as long as people know about it, they would, they would definitely be down for it. But, yeah. Let me go turn down this game's volume, reset the size of my recording, and we'll be ready to go. Hi. Welcome back. Alright, so this is 99 Spirits. This is a game that, um, was brought over from Japan, obviously. I don't know what the mirror, uh, tor- tor- Sure, it, it's weird font. Hold on, I'm trying my best here. The original develops were Turaiki? Turaiki? A-H? No, Turaiki, all rights reserved. <laughs> so the, it'd be Turaiki, okay, whatever. Look, it's tough, I can't read that. But this was loca lo 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 cast. This is locasted. This was localized with Fruit Bat Factory, and I picked it up. And one of the backgrounds, I already have a five star badge in this. I'm just gonna brag about that right now. One of the backgrounds was a, uh, like a, the music cover, I think. And this game made just off of that one thing, made me 15 bucks one day. So that was pretty cool. It's also, it, it, it made me more, it, it probably made me like $35. So. But that was like during the heyday of, of, uh, of Steam trading, way before they introduced the trade limit. Um, you can kind of flip things easier, and this was a uh, this just come out, so 
there were some pretty dedicated fans out there that were buying up stuff for a lot, and I took advantage of them like an asshole. So, <laughs> so if that doesn't convince you to buy this game, I don't know what will, because I think it still sells. If you get the background, I think it still sells for $1.52, so... Anyway, I haven't played this game before. I have no idea what I'm doing. English? You can use English voices in battle? Hey! I didn't even know that. That's surprising to me that they would uh, go for... It'll probably sound terrible. We'll probably switch it over. But if it doesn't sound terrible... Let me let it run. Do you wish to view the prologue? I've never played this game and would love to view you the prologue. This is a story from days long past. In its center lies the Heian capital, around which countless evil spirits called Skumogami now brawl. They appeared in the wake of a great famine, and the atrocities they committed have plunged the capital into chaos. Unable to ignore their plight, the god of the mountain sent a shrine maiden to seek out a certain man and have him craft a special sword with the ability to slay demons. This is the opening chapter of that story, beginning with the appearance of someone hunting for that sword. Okay, we can all tell that's a female, right? That is a female voice actor. She's probably incredibly talented she sounds like a friggin child she could easily easily have like voice acted a child character in an anime like a male child character in an anime speaking of which um brave fencer musashi voiced by a female yes Smithy District. Hid, 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 hid a tada? I don't know. Horrible! The Suk. Oh my God! The Sukumagami. They even got this far. Everyone, hurry up and evacuate! Everybody, words. Yeah. Mr. Hidetana, please help. My apprentice is being attacked. What? I understand. I'll be there. Oyatsu, guide the people here to a secure place. I will. Please be careful, Hidetada. Or die. You too. Take care of Hanabusa. Alright. Cat! It spells cat! Wait, that's an owl. Damn it. Ma'am, you're here. Where's the master? Thank goodness you're safe. Hidetana went to help out somebody in trouble. Here, give me a hand. We have to get everyone out of here. You're asking for my help. I'm afraid I'll have to decline. What are you saying? Can't you understand this situation? Stop talking nonsense and start helping the people out of here. <laughs> I'm speaking no nonsense. You haven't the faintest idea of how long I've been waiting for a chance to kill you. I ran out of breath, so I couldn't, like... Be like, kill ah. <laughs> More evil. What? Yes. Yes. Sukumagami here? You! Is it you who's behind all of this? It took you rather long to figure it out. For a shrine maiden, you are quite obtuse. Did you become Hide Dada? Hide. Hide. Taught as a disciple for this purpose? Exactly. I needed to win his trust so I could control him. <sighs> I can't believe we had a traitor like you among us. So, might I have the Goken sword you two made? That sword's such a bother for my purposes. Unfortunately, that sword is no longer here. We already handed it over to an emissary, and they have taken it far away. The sword is not here. I have no idea what you're trying to achieve, but I'll give you no quarter if you come here with ill will. Fine. Then we'll settle for kidnapping Hide... Hidetana instead of the sword. I will not let you. 
Prepare to be destroyed, you diabolical one. Prologue! Teach me how to play the game! Town outskirts. Hanabusa? <laughs> Papa? Mama? Stop crying, girl. Crying is not going to get you anywhere. A fox! But, as long as you stay alive, you may be able to see your mother again, so do not cry. What about my father? I want to see him too. I am not sure. That depends on your fate. Very well. This should be far enough. Go to that house and ask them to shelter you. What about you, Mr. Fox? My work here is done. You go on your own. N no, don't leave me alone. I lost my parents. I don't want to lose you too. Hey, unhand me. <laughs> no. All right now, hear me out. Your life will be full of strife and adversity. Yet, no matter what hardships you face, always be proud of your parents and keep believing in them. Proud? That's right. Your parents are worth believing in. You must live strongly without shaming their names. Okay. I am going to have to hide this sword somewhere. Now that you seem to understand me, I will take my leave. Wait! He's gone. Ukuni? Hanabusa! It's you! Hanabusa! You alright? Okuni, you're not with Mrs. Oyatsu and Mr. Hidetata. <laughs> I'm mispronouncing his name horribly. I understand. Well, come on inside. Are those two already? Smithy District. We're going back to that location. What the? Oyatsu! Oyatsu! Who... Just who did this? Master, you're back. You! Who killed Oyatsu? Well, out of the blue. Some su... Tsukumogami assaulted her. I asked a nobleman for help, but he abandoned me. And when I got back here, she was already... What? Ogatsu. Oyatsu. Whatever your name. I'm terribly sorry, Master. I wasn't able to save her. No, I know you did all you could do. But why? Why did this have to ha Why did this have to happen to her? Damn, Sugo... Sukumogami. What did she ever do to you? This is just outrageous. She was nothing but an innocent victim. While the Suku... Sukumogami killed her, they paid no attention to the nobleman at all. Master, we must fight them for the sake of the madam. We'll use all our skills to dispense divine justice to this chaotic world that is filled with those evil demons. Divine justice. As you can see, it's this world that created the Sukumogami and the nobles and Miss Uyatsu became another one of their victims. For her sake, we will have to be the ones to pass judgment in, pe in place of heaven. Or are you going to do nothing but weep? Uyatsu, another victim. G uh, oh, we cannot possibly let things stay this way. We must not. I, I will never forgive any of them. Never. Yes, you're absolutely right. They're just unforgivable, Master. Now let us move forward, for the sake of Miss Ayatsu and ourselves. <laughs> Daytime! Some ten years later. Hanabusa has grown up. Something wrong, Hanabusa. You look spaced out. I was remembering my parents. Mr. Hiretada and Miss Oyatsu, huh? Him missing and her killed by the Suk Sukumogami. It was back then that you started lugging that katana around with you. Yes. No emotions are required when fighting against evil Suga Sukumogami. They exist only to be destroyed. You mustn't let your emotions control your katana. 
Once you allow wrath to control yourself, you are no different from the Suka Mogami. Ugh, you're going on patrol again? Yes. Sheesh, who did you take after, I wonder? You will never change your mind once you've set it on something. I just get this feeling that I have to destroy them. Well, do what, I, do what you can and come back here whenever you feel tired. Everyone's waiting for you. Oh, right. Take these with you. You gained 100 year medicine. A whetstone and rice balls. With these, you can restore your HP, hunger, and swords condition. We'll all be upset if you come back covered with cuts and bruises again. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Thank you, Master. I'll be off now. There are Suko Mogami living deep in the Shira Valley, located northeast of the capital. Let's use the move command and go to the Shura Valley. The Shura Valley, a hotbed of Tsukamagami. It's the same as always. I can already see a lot of them wandering about. Alright then, let's clean them out and head for the point marked with star. It's actually a reverse triangle. Someone say Triforce symbol. I don't know, like the missing piece of the Triforce. The middle of the Triforce! Fuck God, reverse Triforce, there. If I click on a cell, I will move there. Should I forget what I have to do, I can check the current objective on the top of the screen. Which there currently is none, but there will be soon enough whenever this mini HUD becomes the real HUD. And I must make sure to save from config after making some progress. You can access the save and load screens quickly by pressing the Z and the X keys. Well. It's time to get moving. Okay, so we need to make it here. I don't know what this is. I presume this is the enemy. Let's head to this. Because I want to know what it is. It's a gemstone. Intriguing. So I guess... As you move through this world, you lose hunger, and that has to be restored, and eventually you have to leave if you lose too much hunger, that's my guess. Um, I'm also going to guess the way you position, because there is positioning on this map, is important when battling. Because if you're caught in the back, I suppose you'd probably get your ass kicked. But that's Ready? just my thought. Here I come. I guess I'll review how to fight Tsuka Megami. Learn how to fight? Yes, I would love to! I use the attack and defend buttons to fight. When the screen flashes, that means the enemy is about to attack me. This is where I'm supposed to click the defend button, or press the X key to defend myself. Right after that, I can make a counter attack by clicking the center button, or pressing the Z key. I must make sure to defend myself from enemy attacks, otherwise I'll take some heavy damage. A good combination of defending and counterattacking is the key to victory. By the way, hitting the defend button repeatedly, or pressing and holding the key, will botch my defense. I have to remember not to do it. I can restore my HP or my sword's condition using items from the item button. The 100 year medicine restores my hit points, and the whetstone restores the wear and tear WR, of my sword. The wear and tear gauge shows how much I've used my sword. It increases from every attack I make. When it reaches the maximum, I won't be able to attack, so I need to be careful. I just went over the basics of fighting. Should I review it one more time? Nope, I've got it. Alright then, here goes. Ow! Same as ever, I wasn't able to completely destroy a single Tsugami today, either. Since they're shapeless, physical attacks don't connect, and they can easily slip away. So did I frick up? I was, I, I was trying to learn, but I don't think I learned. The screen flashed, but like, I did not have a chance to X. It's bullet hell all over again. Slow reaction time. Driving them back just increases their numbers instead of reducing them. 
I wonder if there's any solution. Well, worrying about that here won't get me anywhere. I should keep going. Indeed. Oh crap, I was intercepted. Come on. Attack me. I'm ready for it. Is it my turn? Okay. You're too weak. I think I missed the counter opportunity, but I think I did defend. Okay. That was kind of cool. I think I I think I got the counter attack system kind of down. It seems like when you start to attack, they have their they have their opportunity to attack as well, and then you can like defend and counter attack. Otherwise, it will continue your regular attacks. But counter attacking hits harder is what I'm getting. I don't know. Th this is a wild peach. Awesome. So we did not destroy any Sugami. We uh, just push them back so that's cool I want this another gemstone now if I go to the outer rim oh god they're gonna chase me I'm gonna have to fight them aren't I actually no I've managed to avoid them I think if I continue s yes yes I've avoided them ha ha screw you guys cuz you're not giving me anything worthwhile so there's no point to fighting you um, what is this? A gemstone. See, this is remarkably different from what I saw earlier. I saw, like, in the screenshots, it was like, um, like, you had to, like, type names and things and, and discover what the Tsukamogami's Su shape was and, like, that would be how you kill him. I guess that'll come into play later. I think I have to take on the one. I don't think I can... Outmaneuver him, yeah. I will not be stopped. There, there. Ah! Here's an attack. Ah! Huh? Huh? Okay, when he was retreating and the screen flashed, I tried to defend. <laughs> Probably didn't help. I'm gonna botch my defenses. Always. I think I chased away the Suko Gaunt. The Suko Mogami around here. I should return to the capital. The Hiean capital. Huh? It feels like there's something wrong around here. It's the night parade. The night parades come. Help me. What? The night parade? <laughs> here we are. Everyone in town must die. Someone, anyone, please help me. I can't run any further. I'm Popeye, but without the... <laughs> he's, he's totally Popeye. He's totally Popeye the Sailor Man. Put the pipe in him, give him some spinach, and that man will take out everything. <sighs> I must help those two. Not be stopped. Here we go. Yeah, you run, coward. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright, but my grandpa... I'm completely fine. Uh, uh, maybe. You, this is bad. You may have broken bones. You need emergency treatment. Where are the humans? Find them, find them! There's too many of them. We'd better not stay here. Let's move. Town outskirts. All right, it's done. You mustn't move for a while. Thank you so much. You even treated Grandpa. Don't mention it. Have some more rest and then leave for somewhere safe. We will, miss. Please be safe. All these battles back at the Shin at the Shura Valley are starting. Oh God! All these battles back at the Shura Valley are starting to get to me now. For pity's sake, there's so many of them that I feel like they're spawning from the bottom of hell. I'm not sure if I can last until sunrise. Speaking of which, they attacked a capital city. Where else is safe? Huh? The fox. 
A white fox. What is he here for? Coo! Is he calling me? I feel that I've met that fox somewhere before. White fox, what do you want from me? Coo! What is that, a sword? Do you want me to take it? Excellent craftsmanship, I must say. It looks like a ritual weapon, but it can be used for actual combat. What is this, anyway? At very last, I found you. What? What? Who are you? Wait, those ears of you, of yours. Are you the fox I just met? Not too shabby. You seem quite perceptive. You seem quite perceptive. I am Kumiya, servant of the Mountain God. And that sword you're holding is the Gokan sword. Your mother asked me to pass it along to you. You are the daughter of Oyatsu, correct? I am, but how do you know that? You even know my mother's name. You said she asked you to give the sword to me. I need to hear the full story. She passed away when I was still little. Are you another Suko Sukomogami? Calm down and hear me out, girl. That there is a divine sword crafted by your parents under the order from my master, the Mountain God. When the Tsukomogami attacked, your mother entrusted it to me, so as to keep it from evil hands. She told me to hold on to it until you we were ready to carry it. My parents made this sword. Now that you understand everything, you are going to have to drive the Tsukomogami out of the capital. I don't understand anything at all. But you're right. Right now, I have to do something about the Tsukomogami. We are of the same opinion. Let us go. Main Street. Before you fight, you must listen well. By yourself, you cannot completely destroy the Tsukomogami. And that is why you need to learn to use the abilities of that sword. The abilities of the sword? There's still a human left here. Get her, get her. Speak of the devil. Practice makes perfect. I'll grind the use of the sword into you during the fight. Out of my way. Yes. Slashing blindly with the sword isn't enough to kill a Tsukumogami. In order to really destroy them, you need to identify their true form. The Gokan sword I just gave you has five gems embedded in it and they can draw out the knowledge of the enemy, and unveil their form. To put it in plain terms, you have to fill the, fill, fill, the, fill the gem gauges by attacking or defending in order to use the gem, the gem skills. One of the five gems, the leftmost one, carries a skill called Soul Split, which extracts information from the enemy. When the enemy, when the skill hits the enemy, You'll see uppercase characters or lowercase words. The lowercase words are characteristics of the Tsukomogami, while the uppercase letters, uppercase characters, are a part of their name. The second gem is capable of Soulbind, which allows you to call out the enemy's name. Use this name, use the skill to discover their true form and reveal it. Your enemies are Tsukomogami, unruly spirits that all kind of objects turn into. Based on the information gained through Soul Split, you must pronounce the original name of the spirit, such as a sickle! Alright then, I'm supposed to firstly use Soul Split to collect enemy information. After that, I'll use Soul Bind to figure out the enemy's name, correct? Exactly so. By the way, the Gokan Sword has three more gems in it, but I do not think you can make use of them at this point. I shall teach you about them when you have grown stronger. All you must do right now is use the two skills to find out the enemy's identity and kill it. We don't need him to explain once more. Alright, Japanese folklore culture, right? With the kitsunes and all that. Right? Except... Kitsunes have multiple tales, but there's always like the fox uh, special culture in Japan with them being like of spirits and being 
able to shape shift and things, so that's kind of cool. Well then, go ahead and beat the Suko Megami, unless it runs away like a coward. Indeed! To war and victory! Can I use the gem? How do I quick use the gem? Oh, it's not filled yet. I hit C and I'll use the gem. Bamboo. Okay. This is made of bamboo. Two O's. Is it just bamboo? I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so they gave they gave me a little bit more leniency with that. The gems are independent of each other. Dust. Bamboo, dust, oh oh. Sweeping. What? Sweeping bamboo and dust? Is it a mop? Is it like a bamboo mop? That's the only thing I can think of that has two zeros in it. God damn it. Or not a mop, but... Well, too weak. Bamboo again. Kumiya, I can't figure out the enemy's identity. I really can't. Wait, you don't have it yet. When you use the first gem, you gained lowercase and uppercase hints, didn't you? The former describes the enemy's usage, characteristic, or material. It's made of bamboo, it's used to sweep. And its characteristic is... Dust? No, it's used to dust! Its characteristic is sweeping. I don't, I don't know. It's materials bamboo. And the uppercase characters are part of the enemy's name. The one we're currently facing is... A Sukumagami of cleaning tool type, I'm guessing. Deduce its name from the uppercase letters you got so far. All I can think of is a mop. Maybe a sponge? No, a sponge wouldn't be made of bamboo. Like, all I can think of is a mop. Oh, a broom! Broom works, thank you. Broom. Mop was a dumb idea. Mop was a stupid idea. You're correct. Broom. Done. There's a lot of choices, aren't there? Yeah, thanks. I'll take your advice as soon as my blue fucking gem is ready. Damn it! I wasn't ready for it because so I was trying to hit B. Um, B. R. Oh, damn it! <laughs> way to, way to mess that up. B R O O M. Broom. I can see it. What is this? I can recognize that spirit's figure. Now I understand how this sword works. Good. You must kill that thing before it can get away. Definitely. Prepare yourself. And now it has a life gauge. See, this is what I was expecting of the game. Woo! We got money and XP. Alright, so this was what I was expecting of the game, because in the screenshots it was like you were, it was, you were like guessing stuff. So yeah, this is this is cool. this is a cool little idea, I gotta say. Um, how long are we running though? Prologue and all, thirty-one minutes. I am going to stop it here. 
I think the game is really cool so far from, like, the one battle I played. I know, I only did the tutorial and shit, and I'm already kind of saying, but I think the game's really cool. And if this has interested you, um, check out the bundle, definitely. And if the bundle, if any of those games interest, interest you, check it out as well. We'll have the link in the description below. It will be there until the bundle is no more. So, it'll be there for the next three days. Um, yeah. That was fun. Give me your thoughts. Maybe we, maybe we make 99 Spirits a new Sunday game or something. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on this. Do you guys like this game? Do you think it's cool? That's my question. I'll just have labeled this Let's Play 99 Spirits, I guess. Yeah. That sounds about right.